where she's got to. But it's a level of focus when you've got that level. And it's just a release at the end of it there. And also, as you had said, just a, an awareness of what she's achieved. But only one step. And of course, Bogdanovich likewise. Yeah. She's no pushover in this one. We're both looking at the carpet very carefully to see if we can see anything on it. It looks to be well cleaned because here comes Lucia Zaninovic. Yvette Gonda first. She's on the way out, the Hungarian. Oh, yeah, Gonda's not messing around at all. She's already there. There's Zaninovic, the world number one. And Gonda, world number 20, but both of them decorated on many occasions. Gonda, we've seen in the UK many times at the uh, GB Taekwondo events that are held in Manchester. Zaninovic, well, she's won the last three European Championships. She's taken gold in 2010, 2012, and 2014, and was bronze medalist at the 2012 Olympic Games in London. Is somebody who is an absolute legend of the sport. And it was a big shock that she lost in the golden point to Bogdanovic. That was really quite a, 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 a crazy but thoroughly enjoyable fight. And here we go. Medals at stake now. The bronze medal, a bronze medal, will go to the winner of this bout. Maria Giovanna Ciappelli of Italy is our referee. So Zaninovic has uh, fought as much as anybody here. She has lost, she does seem a little bit leg weary. The referee there, look at the, the velocity there, just skipping round behind the two, the fastest on the mat so far. Yes. But I was just going to say that Zaninovic does look a little bit leg weary. Sometimes you can see a tiredness in a fighter when they've had a long old day. And this is certainly a test of their stamina as well as speed. Yes, this is her fourth fight of the day. This is Gonda's, um, also her fourth fight. Of course, Gonda uh, reached the semi-final with Maddox and lost in that semi-final. And as we said earlier, she actually was well beaten, almost gave up in the final 10 seconds. Zaninovic falls awkwardly, thankfully Very. doesn't injure herself. Yeah, well, I've had a few training camps with the, the Zaninovic sisters and they do have a hypermobility, a flexibility at the knees and it, it helps them in their style and it also helped her there when she fell because that could be that could have been a bad one. Yeah, that could have been nasty, but she, she just, she, yeah, she fell like a gymnast. She yeah, absolutely. Very flexible legs. Yeah. Which certainly helps, but she hasn't managed to extend anything so far and Yvette Gonda, well, as we said, against Maddock earlier on in the day, Charlie Maddock just took the wind out of her sails and just kept pushing that stabbing motion into the side and just tired up. Yeah. These two fought in the Grand Prix series in Astana um, in 2014 in uh, Kazakhstan and Zaninovic in the second round won by nine points to one. Yeah. That's, uh, well, I think that tells you a tale about if you look at this match here, it's definitely, you know, the last vestiges of energy trying to summon it up here because it is Olympic ramping points at stake. There's a tempted reverse turning kick there and does score a four point shot. Well, playing possum and playing into the hands there. Perfect headshot. What a time to do it as well, right at the very end of that first period. And she got a body shot in as well. And suddenly, we thought we were going to be calling it at 0 0 at the end of the first round. And Zaninovic just, just in stealth mode here. Look yep. at this. Oh, beautiful. Perfect. In fact, four it was point a spinning headshot. Yep. Yep. Perfect four point headshot there. And the execution of it turns the head, keeps her eye on the opponent. Yeah. A wee toe in the gub, as you would say in Scotland. <laughs> Just a bit of a face wash. And and again, it was the second move. And that's the thing with Taekwondo. I think a lot of people don't realize it doesn't have to be an initial movement. As, you know, they, a lot of these athletes will waggle their feet and try and search for the head. Yep, it's the kind of window wiper effect that Latilo Mohammed was one of the first fighters that I saw doing that to great effect. And he perfected that style. And it's, it's very much a, you know, a firm fixture of the Taekwondo now. You've got to have that mobility across the range of movement of the hips to, to get that second phase in. Yeah, second round. Three rounds of two minutes. And Zaninovic, four nil ahead already. Of course, Gonda has, uh, will have fought Zaninovic on other open competitions. These two are two of the top fighters out there. Gonda again, speaking of out there, she's got that 
front hand poking out there just to keep it in the face of Zaninovic and also to protect her own head. Yeah. That's why Zaninovic had to do the reverse turning kick to come round the corner to avoid that. So sometimes you get caught up in Taekwondo watching the feet and watching the kicks. If you're a young fighter, as I say, or a coach, blocking so important now in this modern game. Absolutely. Good contest. Both searching for more points. At the moment, blank so far in the second round. Of course, uh, the local crowd here, the local Azeri crowd, are looking forward to seeing one of their own fighting a little later. There's a bit of a buzz about what's due to come. But not much intensity in this round from we get Gonda as she takes another, concedes a little shot there. Yeah. Just seems a little bit hesitant. Well, understandable when you've been clocked in the face by the, the spinning foot of Zaninovic. You see a little graphic that occasionally pops up in the bottom corner. It just shows the, the actual intensity of the hit. There's a little line that shows the threshold. If you get over that line, it scores a point. And it does again. Ooh, that one it? definitely did. Yep. It was a massive big hit. Perfect there. Six points to Croatia. And uh, well, this is going pretty much the same way as it did in Astana, in Kazakhstan. There's another hit. And that's the Croatia. first real leg turning kick that she scored. And the judges are now in the zone. The eight points to the good now for Zaninovic. But she's thrown that right leg turning kick to the body all day. She hasn't scored one yet. Save for this moment. And Tos yeah. Baller's the coach. He's going to have to earn his money here. Yeah, finally came good for her. And Gonda. You know, she's an experienced cookie, this uh, Yvette Gondo and Shield. She's uh, talking through with her coach. And I'm very impressed because, you know, born and raised in Canada, competing for Canada and communicating very well there in yeah. Hungarian, so... Well, it would have been incredible. She was uh, the Pan Am Games gold medalist in 2011. If she'd managed that if for Hungary, it'd be incredible. If she'd have won here, that would have been a definite trivia question for Taekwondo. Who had taken gold in both the Pan Am Games and the European Games? She uh, she competed in Beijing, where she was she finished 11th and 5th at the Olympic Games in Athens, just outside the medals. 29 years old, 5 foot 7, Yvette Gonda, and Lucia Zanunovic, 27. So, two veterans of the sport here battling for a medal. Almost a headshot there from Zanunovic, tried to flick that kick up the stairs. Can't go for falling over for Gonda. Well, it's gone against her at the moment. The Hungarian. Right leg turning kick there. You can see the little score monitor, as you're saying. 14. I never know what it is. 14. No. <laughs> 14 units of strength. I'm not. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, I, we, 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 there was a little bit of homework for us to do um, tomorrow I've asked, morning. I've asked. There's no, there's no uh, official okay. score. The dado system, so I don't know if it's 14 dados, but. We'll call it 14 <laughs> Bakus, that'll do it at the moment. So 13 Bakus there, didn't score. I reckon it's 25 is the threshold, looking at that. That was 13 and about halfway. But at the moment, we're halfway through, coming up to halfway through the third and final round. And Zaninovic, well, she doesn't need to save any energy. This is the final fight for today. She looks as if she's going to be taking a medal. And of course, this is categorised in Taekwondo terms as a G4 event, which means there's a healthy bunch of points one of the things with Olympic qualification we haven't mentioned yet in commentary is that the top six in the world, if you finish top six at the end of the year, then you do get through to the real game. So events like this, you know, there is no, um, <laughs> there's no, the, the athletes do want to be fighting here because the chance of a, getting a bronze medal, chance of getting a few extra victories here is going to give you some important points. And, you know, for somebody like Charlie Maddock as well, you know, coming up in the final, uh, amazing points, potentially. But 30 seconds to go. Croatia look to have this one in the bag. Yep, Zaninovic has been too good and too strong. She's picked the right moments to take the shots. That reverse turning kick at the start of the match yeah. put Gonda into all sorts of trouble. And, and Gonda's accepted defeat here, hasn't she? She's, uh, she's decided just to let the clock run down. Um, Zaninovic uh, making a couple more attacks, but Gonda, as she did in her semi-final against Maddock, has decided that uh, this one is beyond her. 
And, yep, she doesn't even try and attack. The final 30 seconds play out. She doesn't even try a headshot. And Lucia Zaninovic takes the first medal at this inaugural European Games. A bronze medal will be added to the total for Croatia. And uh, I'm sure she would have hoped for more, to be honest, John. The world number one, you know, three-time European champion. She's given the credit to Tony Thomas there, the coach, as she always does. Yeah. And as you say, she came for gold, settles for the first ever bronze. Yvette Gonda had to settle for a creditable fifth place and some points on the road. Yeah. But again, in the, in the end... Lucia Zaninovic wins 9-1 and takes the bronze. Well, that was the kick that made the difference. Perfect execution. And Tony Thomas and Zaninovic sharing an embrace and indeed a bronze medal.